Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be migrating an unraid server from one server to another. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Hi there guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to be looking at how to migrate unraid from one server to another with different hardware. Now I know you guys waiting for the next in the series of Unraid 6.9, the setup series. Well don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that. The next part of that should be out tomorrow. It's just in the last few weeks I've had so many questions people asking, is it possible to swap the hardware from one server to another? Do you have to reinstall Unraid? Do you have to reset up all your Docker containers? What about VMs and things you pass through? Well, migrating your Unraid install from one set of hardware to another is much easier than you may think. And I hear a lot of new users out there saying they're planning on making an Unraid build, but they want to wait till they can get XYZ hardware. Because they worry if they set it up on the existing hardware that they have now, then when they buy their new hardware, it's going to be a nightmare transferring everything across. Well, that just isn't the case. And that's what this Unraid Core Topics video is all about. So what I thought I'd do is migrate an Unraid build between two totally different types of hardware. So the server I'm migrating from is one that I've had for years and years. It's a Gen 8 HP micro server which I upgraded the CPU to a more powerful quad core Xeon 1240v2 CPU. So this Intel based server in computing terms is getting pretty old now. The hardware's from 2013 making it about 8 years old. So I'm going to migrate this Unraid server onto much more modern hardware. So as well as migrating it onto newer hardware, I'm also going to swap platform and go on to AMD. The server I'm migrating to is going to be running a Ryzen 5950X from late 2020. So two very different servers with very different hardware. So it's lucky then that Unraid is totally hardware agnostic, meaning it doesn't care what hardware it runs on. And for you guys who are used to the Windows world, Unraid won't need reactivating. And Unraid's license key isn't tied to the actual hardware inside the server. Its license key is just tied to the USB flash drive that you have Unraid installed onto. So as long as that flash drive's in the next build, well your Unraid license is going to run just fine on that new hardware, no matter what it is. So to get Unraid set up on the next build, we're going to need to move our hard drives across and the USB flash drive. And we can move any graphics cards across as well that we might have. Anything that we want to keep, we just move it into the new server. But before we do that, there's a few little things we need to do on the server before we shut it down and break down the hardware. So let's jump on the server that I'm migrating from. And we can see this server's got a small array, a 16 terabyte array, made up of three 8 terabyte drives. The cache drive is just made up of one SSD, a one terabyte one. And there's three unassigned disks in this server as well. Now a lot of people always worry when they're swapping to a new server, do you have to remember the order the disks are in? And by that I mean the physical order of the disks in the server. So if your parity disk for example is plugged into SATA port 1 on your motherboard, does it have to be the same on the next server? And the simple answer is, well no, you don't have to worry about that at all. Unraid knows what your parity disk is and it knows what disk 1 and 2 is etc all from the serial numbers of the disks. So it makes absolutely no difference where the physical location of the disks are in your server. They can be anywhere you want. As long as Unraid can see the serial of the disk then it will use it as either parity disk 1, 2, 3, whatever it was in the original server it will use it the same in the new server. So we don't need to worry about the disks being moved into the new server. But is there anything we should look at before we move the hardware over and start up the new machine? So first let's just have a look at the docker tab. Now there's nothing here we really need to do. Obviously we may as well stop all of the containers. But also when swapping to a new server, I think it's best when we first swap over to just disable the auto start on all of the containers until we've got everything migrated across and we're sure everything's fine. Okay, so next the VMs tab, there's more to do here. So again, obviously stop all of your VMs. And then on each VM, we want to go and edit the template. And if you've got a graphics card passed through, then set this to VNC. Because even if you're moving the same GPU into the next server, it will probably have a different identity number here. And also, any other PCI devices you've got passed through, 
Make sure to uncheck that. Now USB devices, so long as you're moving them into the next server, you can leave them checked, as their vendor ID won't change, but just to be safe, untick them anyway and click on to update. Now the final thing we want to look at is we need to go to the tools tab here and then go to system devices and any devices that we've actually stubbed to allow for pass through we want to uncheck that otherwise when we boot up the new server it can cause problems. So uncheck anything that you've got selected here and then click on bind selected to VFIO at boot and with that done we can now shut down the server then disassemble this server taking out all the hardware we want to put in the new one. So here's the server I'm migrating from, a Gen 8 micro server. And the only thing I'm taking from this server is just the hard drives. Oh, and obviously, let's not forget the flash drive, of course, as well. So this is the server that I'm migrating to. And as well as just a new CPU and motherboard, there's also two other graphics cards in here as well. OK, so all of the hard drives are in the new server, both the array and the cache drives. There's a couple of other bits of new hardware, a couple of graphics cards and an NVMe drive. So with all of that done, I'm now ready to boot up Unraid on the new hardware. So after setting up the BIOS settings on the new server correctly, Unraid's booted up without missing a beat. So we've got all of the original array drives here. The cache drive's correct. Here's the flash drive. And here's the fourth 8TB drive from the original server. But we've also got these two extra drives that I've put in as well. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tools and System Devices and here just like the old server I'm going to stub the hardware which I want to pass through to VM. Now I want to pass through a USB controller so I'm going to stub this one here. I don't want to stub any other hardware so I'm just going to click on to Bind Selected to VFIO at boot. OK so now Unraid suggests we reboot the server but before doing that, because this server's running a Ryzen CPU and before I had an Intel CPU, I'm going to add a line to the Go file on the flash drive, which is called Zen States. So to do that, we just open a terminal window and we want to type nano space forward slash boot forward slash config forward slash go. And I'm going to add this line here, which you can find in the description, which enables what's called the Zen States which prevents what happens with some Ryzen servers when they're left idle for a while they'll freeze. So if you've got a Ryzen CPU and you're swapping from an Intel, I'd suggest putting this line in your Go file. OK, so now we can reboot the server and once the server's booted up, we can go to the VMs tab and here's the VM we had running on the old server. We've set it to VNC graphics. So now we can click onto it and go to edit. We can see here that the logical CPUs are slightly different. Obviously, there's a lot more cores on this server. So as there's more cores in this server, I'm going to give it four cores, eight threads. I'm going to up the memory to eight gigs and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to add a graphics card back. I'm going to use this RTX 3080 here and add its sound counterpart. And because I've just stubbed this USB controller, I can now add that as well. So I just want to click on to update. And now this VM will start absolutely fine with the new hardware. And with that done now, we can come back and auto start any containers we want to be auto starting. So that's it, that's all there is to it. It really is super easy to migrate Unraid from one server to another, doesn't matter about the hardware what it is, and you'll be able to keep all your data, all your shares, all your containers and all your VMs. OK guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. Now as always, if you like the video then please hit the like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, you know, all that kind of thing. And just before I go, I want to give a huge thanks to all of my patrons and supporters out there, without whom I really wouldn't be able to make these videos. OK guys, well it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next video.